Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of InHomeComputerHelp.com. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to give a senior citizen computer lesson, assuming that the senior citizen or anybody else for that matter has never typed before. They don't know where to put their fingers and stuff like that. And that's what I'm going to go over with today. So I'm going to use a Google slideshow that I've already made. Let's get into that. Here we are. Okay, so no peeking typing. How to type without looking at your computer keyboard by in-home tutor and remote computer tutor, J. Richard Kirkham, Honolulu, Hawaii, and all of Oahu. Text or call. There's my phone number there. So, hey, give me a call if you like my teaching style. Typing can be slow if you don't know the basics. I remember back in the 90s when I first got into computers, uh, I asked my mom where to put my fingers on the keyboard. And the keyboard on the computer is the same keyboard used in typewriters or on typewriters. It's called a QWERTY keyboard. And here's the reason for that. Okay, so take a look at what I have there in red, take a look, I can move my mouse here and show you. So take a look at that. See what that spells? QWERTY. By the way, I'm doing this in a Google slideshow. And as part of my living, I help a lot of people with their Google Drive, both on the mainland and here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and in fact, all of Oahu. Okay, so where do you place your fingers? So look at the diagram. Now, one thing my mom told me was that if you put your fingers in the right spot, then you can see the G and the H. So that'll give you some idea. And then use your, use your thumb on the space bar. Now, in martial arts, I tell my students, closest weapon to the closest, the closest target. It's the same thing in typing. So, for example, let's spell my name, okay? Right pinky, press and holds the shift key, okay? Look down at your shift key. There it is. We're going to spell my name. Later on, I want you to spell your name, okay? Uh, left finger, left index finger, tap the R. Right middle finger, tap the I. Middle left finger, tap the C and middle right finger is already on the K, so tap the K. So that will, that will end up spelling Rick. Okay, now, a couple of tips before we get into your homework. I'm a dual certified teacher before I became a computer expert, and so I'm allowed to give you out homework. Okay, so some typing basics. Pressing the shift key and holding it down creates capitals for the next key that you tap. And yet you, you have to hold the shift key down when you tap that key to get tap capitals. Okay, the top numbered keys also have symbols such as the parentheses symbol. Holding down the shift key allows you to access those symbols. I think, my, I think there's more writing down there below that that you can't see. Okay. Pressing down and holding the FN key, that's the function key, allows you to access the very top keys if there are two symbols. So look way up on top there on the diagram. And you see uh, now this is one, and I don't see that symbol here on here up here, but that's actually uh, one way that you disable your touchpad which I did in a previous video because I get uh, senior citizens and other people that lay their palms of their hand on the touchpad and then their, their uh, touchpad cursor, mouse cursor, which you're more familiar with here and it called that, goes all over the, goes all over the place. If they hit the touchpad too hard with the palm of their hand, they end up clicking on something and they don't know how they got there. So. That's one of the values of these top keys right here. Okay, so first your your first name, practice typing just your first name 
until you can do that without looking at the keyboard. Look at the monitor instead of the keyboard. Okay, now after you're done with that, okay, so you're not doing this next, you're doing this after you're comfortable with your first lesson. After that, this sentence is the one I learned to practice typing. It contains all the letters in the alphabet. So practice typing without looking as much as possible. Obviously look when you need to, especially in the beginning. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And don't forget your period. You do not have to make this bold. Okay, your next lesson, watch Jeopardy. And don't forget your quotation marks and your exclamation point and your comma. That's something we didn't get from the last lesson. Alex Trebek's fun TV quiz game. And don't forget your period. Okay, so you're going to need the shift key for the uh, for the quotation marks and the exclamation point. So take a look at your keyboard. When you Where you see those, they're on top where the numbers are. You're going to need your shift key to, to access those. Okay, now practice that above sentence. You Once again, you don't have to make it bold. And these sentences, by the way, are called pangrams. Okay, pangrams are sentences that contain all the letters in the alphabet. Okay, some more typing tips for you. Enter or return makes a new line and a new paragraph. Tab will take you to the next box or link when you're filling out a form. Control A selects everything. Control C copies everything temporarily into a file called the clipboard. Control V paste everything that's in the clipboard. You can only have one thing in the clipboard at a time, by the way. I did a video on that for you too. Control P prints. That's why Control P does not paste. Control P for print got there first. Caps Lock makes everything you type in capitals. You see only one, I know you have two shift keys, right? But you will only see one Caps Lock I call it a caps lock command key, but you'll only see one caps lock key. Okay, shift two for the email symbol. You're gonna need that if you email me because you want to hire me as your tutor. <laughs> okay, so shift two gives you the at symbol. Print screen, you will see usually in the, near the right hand side, usually near the top, uh, that copies your screen to the clipboard, okay? Delete in Windows, oh, I'm missing a word there. I'm not gonna type that back in right now. And Linux Mint removes the text to the right. So when you press the delete key, you remove the text to the right-hand side. Backspace removes all the text to the left in Windows and Linux Mint. Okay, and I've got a link to Linux Mint in case you're wondering what that is. I'm going to have to fix that slideshow. Now it's going to bother me because I'm slightly ADHD. In fact, I am ADHD. I, uh, as part of my living, I tutor uh, academic students, uh, specialize in students with ADHD because I know it helped me. But let's let's continue with this. Sorry. All right, now final bit of advice. Don't get discouraged or frustrated. Be positive. If I learned this just by asking my mom where to put my fingers, you too can learn to type without peeking. Okay, if you like my teaching style, please consider downloading my big plain English tablet help and tips ebooks. Uh, that bottom, if you can't read that, says computer help ebook. So that's proactivecomputersupport.com forward slash computer help ebook. And then, of course, follow me, subscribe, like, comment, uh, especially on YouTube there. Uh, the more you like and comment and things like that, the more it helps my uh, algorithm in YouTube to 
be placed more in front of more people so I can help more people. Uh, in the meantime, obviously consider, let me go back here. In the meantime, obviously consider uh, contacting me for either remote computer lessons if you're in the United States uh, mainland. Now, mainland, please text me only. Okay, there's my phone number. I'll slouch you down a little bit. I know you can see it on the to the left and right on me because I designed this background myself. But uh, there's a big difference. I'm here in Honolulu, Hawaii, part of Oahu. So there's a big difference in time. So I'd appreciate a text only because I don't want to get a call at one o'clock in the morning just because you got so excited that you finally found my phone number. Uh, Oahu, please, uh, please call or text. Uh, I specialize in senior citizens and small business people. Small business people, I will show you how to use your computers more efficiently, and I will set them up to be more efficient. Not only that, I'll be proactive by maintaining your computers, and I'll do that for my senior clients too. I'll maintain the computers. I will be proactive, not reactive. In other words, you're not just going to hearing from me when your computer breaks down. I want to see you every four months so that I can clean, optimize, and check security on your computers. But that's your lesson. So go back over it again and enjoy typing without peeking. God bless you and enjoy the rest of your day.